NextGen is the process that will ultimately create a new technology landscape for Minnesota State, one that meets the changing needs of our students and our campuses. This video provides an overview of the project team structure. Details in this video may change as we begin planning the implementation with Workday. The size and complexity of the NextGen project raises two important questions. First, how will such a large implementation and major change be governed and managed? And second, who will do the work? To ensure the success of NextGen, Deloitte, a global professional services network with a proven track record implementing new technologies in higher education, will serve as Workday's implementation partner. Critical NextGen project roles, including roles in project management, functional teams, technical teams, and change teams, will have Deloitte counterparts. This partnership will allow knowledge transfer throughout the project by dedicating Minnesota State subject matter experts who will work side-by-side -side with Workday and Deloitte in key roles, thereby gaining skills necessary to support and configure the NextGen ERP solution. A high-level view of NextGen project governance shows the executive sponsor of the project. In the case of NextGen, that's the Minnesota State Chancellor. The functional owners, sometimes called the business owners, are the Minnesota State Vice Chancellors, who lead academic and student affairs, finance and facilities, human resources, and information technology. The steering committee consists of members of the Chancellor's leadership team including a college president and a university president. Members of the Workday team, here listed as the ERP vendor, will partner with the project management office to report status, issues, and risks to the steering committee. The program management team consists of both Minnesota State and Workday team members who guide the implementation on the ground, including program managers, change management leads, and project managers from finance, human resources, student services, and information technology. Two other teams provide advice to the project management team. The third-party owner's representative ensures that the work done by the vendor is in the best interests of Minnesota State. The cross-functional advisory team helps ensure cross-functional dependencies are planned for accordingly. The team is made up of Minnesota State Implementation Project team leads and institutional subject matter experts. The change management team oversees the application of processes and tools to manage the people side of change so that students, faculty, and staff successfully make the transition from ISRS to Workday and from current processes to processes that will be used with Workday. The team has three major areas of focus. First, sharing the next-gen story of implementation with stakeholders led by the Minnesota State Marketing and Experience Coordinator. Second, ensuring that faculty and staff are ready for the change, work supported by three regional change readiness liaisons. And last but certainly not least, training, which includes end-user training for system office employees and for campus faculty and staff. The change management team is advised by a change management advisory team, the third-party owner's representative, and statewide transition management teams, TMTs for short. The TMTs serve a critical role in connecting the campuses to the project team. Each TMT is appointed by the college or university president and consists of representatives across the institution. The team structures for all of the implementations are basically identical, whether finance, human resources, or student services. Using finance as an example, the team has a finance lead, a project manager, and implementation teams. For each of the implementation teams shown here, there are a number of team roles, including a team lead and subject matter experts from both colleges and universities, and from a number of system office areas such as finance and IT. There's also a testing lead and a cutover lead who ensures that the move to Workday is successful. The main difference between the finance, HR, and student implementations lies in the focus of the implementation teams. The HR implementation team, listed here as HCM Payroll, includes the teams shown here. The student services implementation team includes the teams shown here. The IT team has a slightly different structure and is focused on the information technology aspects of moving from ISRS to Workday. 
Thank you for taking the time to learn about how the work to implement NextGen will be accomplished as we all create a new technology landscape for Minnesota State. For more detailed information on everything in this video, go to menstate.edu forward slash friends of NextGen.